underwater lights. Okay, so why underwater lights when there's so many other projects that I could do? I could use a new chart plotter, I would like side scan sonar, maybe an upgraded generator. Uh, all of those things are useful. Uh, you might say underwater lights are frivolous, and they are, but they're super cool when you're at the dock at night. The problem with underwater lights has been, they're really expensive. So far, I've wanted to spend my money elsewhere. That is until now. Of course, underwater lights can be installed anywhere underwater on a boat, but typically on smaller boats like ours, we're talking about putting them in the transit. Now, the fact that they're underwater lights means that at some point you probably have to drill a hole under the water. Uh, and any time that I have to drill a hole below the waterline in my boat, I get a little touchy about it. I know, perfectly safe, typically doesn't leak, but still, it's another place for water intrusion into your hull, and that can lead to rot. Now, some genius said, well, there is one hole that's already there, maybe we can put a light in that, and that is your bilge plug. Now, the bilge drain hole seems like an obvious place to put a light, and so you might ask yourself, why doesn't everybody put their light in the bilge drain hole? Well, there's a couple problems with it that there's really nothing you can do about it. First of all, there's only one of them, and most times people want to spread the light out over a wide area, and so you would want two or more lights at the stern of your boat. Can't do that with the bilge drain hole. Second problem is, in a single engine boat, the lower unit is right in front of the hull, which often casts a shadow, and so that you don't get a wide beam out from behind the boat. You have this shadow of the unit in the light itself, and that poses a problem. Now, I get all the problems that a bilge drain light has, but there's one thing that it does incredibly well, and that's that it's cheap. It's super easy to install, there's no holes to drill under the water line, and it's a fraction of the cost of traditional underwater lights. And for that reason, I decided, what the heck? For the cost of around $100 to $200, I can get a light, install it, and have it take less than a day, and not put a new hole in the boat, that's worth a try. And so I don't know if this is going to be a great success or an ultimate failure, but there's one way to find out, and we're gonna find that out together. The light that I chose is from a company called Firewater Marine, and there is one reason why I chose this light, and that's because supposedly it's brighter than the others, a lot brighter than most everything else on the market. While other lights were talking about 17, 1800 lumens, this light, according to the manufacturer, puts out 8,000 lumens. Now, this isn't meant to be an installation video. Really, it's more about what does it look like after it's installed. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to run some wire from a switch. I'm going to put the switch up at the helm where there's power. I'll have to run it to ground. We have to install the power supply that they give us. Um, and then other than that, it's just some splicing and butt connectors. It shouldn't be too hard. I know famous last words, but we'll walk through it together. Now my cockpit light switch right now is just an on-off switch, and I bought a replacement switch for it, but I've changed it to be where there's a two position on, um, more like your nav and anchor light switch. So in one position, just my cockpit lights are on, and in the other position, my cockpit lights and underwater lights are gonna be on. I think that'd be the best way to do it.
So we're in Salem, New Jersey, which is going to be our launching off point for our weekend. Three days in the Chesapeake. We're going to go down uh, out of Salem here. And the great thing about Salem is that we have access to the Delaware Bay. And we're going to hop across the Delaware Bay from uh, Salem and then into the uh, C&D Canal, the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. And about halfway uh, down the canal is Chesapeake City. And so we're going to go to Chesapeake City. And the plan is to spend a few days there in Chesapeake City. And while we're there, that means an overnight. And with an overnight means we'll get to see the lights. See what happens. Want more boating? In our next video, we show more of our time on the water and we explore the town of Chesapeake City. So click the subscribe button and while you're at it, hit the like button. It really does help us make more videos. Thanks! All right, it's time. Night has fallen, and I'm going to switch them on for the first time. Now, I have to say, I don't know what to think. I don't know if I'm going to be super thrilled, or if it's going to be good or adequate or not really good. Right now, the conditions are really tough for underwater lights. The water is super murky. In this boat, in all honesty, where the drain hole is. It's in a tunnel uh, set back into the hull and it's it's deep too. It's a, a fairly deep draft. It might work better on other boats uh, if it's just so-so on this or if it's even good it might be even better on other boats. Hopefully it's worth a couple hundred bucks in the work. So let's give it a shot. Let's see. So I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Leave what you think about it in the comments below because I, I really want to read them and I'm really interested. I'll give you my thoughts. Um, I would describe it as subtle. I would describe it as an eerie glow. We have a large swim platform and that large swim platform means that from on the boat, much of the light has dissipated by the time it's out past the swim platform. From off the boat, I think it looks cool. We have to remember that the entire installation was less than $200 in less than two hours. It was not hard to do, and it was not costly. And so taking everything into account, I'm really pleased with it. 
leave your comments uh, below. I really want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about it? Uh, would you do the same thing? Or is there something that you would change? All in all, very pleased. Uh, I've wanted underwater lights for quite some time now. I'm really happy that I have them. Uh, I think it looks super cool. Uh, I think it gives it a little more dock appeal. And, uh, you know, water boats, but to show off a little bit.